So I'm in the United States. We have Poland, Azerbaijan, Egypt, South Africa, Australia, Netherlands, Georgia. Uh, we don't have two people from the same country. Oh, we have two from India. Very good. Singapore, very nice. Netherlands, Saudi Arabia. Whoa, that's quite a few countries. Uh, Australia, oh, good. I guess it's a very late hour there. Malaysia, Ghana, very nice. All right, so what we're gonna do today is just do some meeting and greetings. So uh, introduce ourselves, talk a little bit about where we are. And I don't see your plates with food. It's supposed to be a picnic. Did you bring something? Lilani, do you have your food? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I will be honest, I just walk up, so I still haven't prepared anything, but I'm planning to make my food as we move along. So I'll show how I make my morning coffee. Um, all right, so who <laughs> wants to go first? Do the introductions and um, show us what kind of food you have. Lelani, you seem to be prepared. Why don't you unmute your microphone? Uh, Dr. Balmanis, uh, normally uh, we affectionately call her Dr. B. So she will be your uh, primary point of contact, your mom, your boss, your uh, supervisor, your teacher. So she's the one in charge of the academy program. I'm just here starting the meeting. So Lelani, why don't you take over and... Uh, so, so... The microphone is still okay. muted. Oh, it, sorry, it just mine. Yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah, so Dr. Tara and I, are actually sharing the responsibility this year of running Academy, okay? So he's gonna do a huge part and I'm gonna do a huge part. I'm hoping that I'll be the one that is your point of contact through your coaches. And I see that you have a lot of coaches here now. Uh, I see Jaron, I see Leon, uh, let's see. So go ahead and look for your um, coaches. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a college professor at a university here in Miami, Johnson and Wales University. I've been a professor for about 21 years. Uh, I have a doctorate in international business administration from a university in town called Nova Southeastern University. And uh, I am what they call a global citizen or what I call a global citizen. I'm actually from the Philippine Islands. I immigrated to the United States when I was 10 years old. And then when I was 17, I joined the US Army. And I was a soldier for four years, three and a half, four years. Uh, and then I got married and started having my family. So and I got a, out. And as a soldier, you were stationed all around the world too. I was stationed, actually I was stationed predominantly in Europe. So um, I was actually in uh, Frankfurt, Germany for, active duty for a few years, but as a stay-at-home mom for um, in Germany about four years. In fact, three, two of my three children are born in Germany, so they have a uh, European births. Um, let's see, I got my, um, my undergraduate degree while I was in Europe, actually. I was at the University of Maryland, the European division. So I got to do like all of this global stuff that you guys are doing, right? I got to do it firsthand in Europe. So if I studied, for example, um, Brothers Grimm, I would go all over Germany and study like where the stories came from. So um, I came back to the United States. I realized that the country that I hold a passport for was very um ethnocentric like everything focused on you know like the american perspective so i thought you know what i'm going to be a teacher and i would like to teach everybody that the world is not confined by the boundaries that countries set and it's all up here right everything that you will grow into becoming is all up here it is not the confinement that governments put on you um, not even your parents. Don't tell them that I told you that, right? <laughs> but you'll grow up to create your own universe, your own reality, your own friends. And this is the most amazing way that you can begin that journey, that you're making friends with people from all over the world. And all of a sudden, you are now a global citizen because you know what it's like to live in a continent that, that you've only seen on the map. And now you have friends there and you can converse about it. Because like I said, your world and your universe is all up here. It is not right outside. That could be a part of it, but most of it is in your mind and in your heart. 
Um, so as your professor, I hope that that's the message that I'm gonna kind of help you arrive at. Um, again, it's your education. I just want you to know that, that this is your education. This is not my education. I already got almost two PhDs. I don't need this education, but this is your education and you have to take it seriously because this journey is going to take you to destinations unknown for the rest of your life. Now, okay, so, so your food, what, what do you have there for the okay, food? <laughs> so now that I've taken out most of the time, okay, so I'm eating, um, let me see, a, I'm, I'm a health freak, so I'm eating a peanut butter sandwich. Which is a very American thing. <laughs> a very American thing with star fruit. From so your this, garden? This is a South Florida American thing. I think in South America, they call this carambola. In my country, in the Philippines, they call this balingbing. My friend who gave it to me, they call it finger, finger fruit or something like that. And in the United States, they call it star fruit. So and then raise I your hand if you tried star fruit. I tried it a few times. Anyone else tried star fruits? It's kind of like um, sweet and sour at the same time. Okay, well, some people tried it. Okay, all right. <laughs> what else do you and have there on their life? This is mango jam. It's half eaten. <laughs> I actually, uh, I have one, two, three, I have three trees in my backyard and every summer I harvest the fruit and, um, and I make jam for all of my friends. So Vas, yours is coming this yeah. week. Um, and uh, it's organic, it's healthy, it's less sugar. So that's what I'm eating. <laughs> all right, very nice. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet everybody. I can't meet you personally, but Thank you for being here. All right, thank you so much. Who wants to go next? I saw Rafael somewhere. Rafael, are you nearby? Um, Rafael is another key person for the, for the team. Do you have any food, Rafael? Do you want to introduce yourself? Go ahead, please. Hello. So tell us who you are and show us what you're eating there for breakfast. Hello, my name is Rafael. I'm from Brazil. And I'm a senior coach from Ice Culture. This is my third time as a senior coach. And I'll be helping to coordinate all the coaches that will be assisting you towards all the, the semester. Right now, I have a typical breakfast from Brazil that's called... Because we see your face, we don't see your food. Uh -huh, so it's called Pão de Queijo, uh -huh. but uh, a rough translation would be cheese bread. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, Brazilian cheese bread. Oh, I buy that at Costco and cook it. Yeah, mine really? is much smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <know>. yes. <laughs> it's crispy outside and soft inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of chewy cream inside of it, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. I love Brazilian uh, cheese bread, yeah. And I have a juice uh -huh. right here. It's a passion fruit juice with uh -huh. soil. With soil. Why do they call it a passion fruit? I, I don't know. Here in Brazil, we call maracujá. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. And, and this this juice is is from Japan, actually. Ah. Okay. All right. Very nice. And you have the Brazilian so, colors on your T-shirt. Very patriotic. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. This is the soccer soccer team. Yeah. Very important. All right. Nice well, to meet you all. Hope you you have a great semester with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rafael. Who wants to go next? Leona, do you want to go, like you've been involved a little bit more in this program too. Do you want to introduce yourself? Um, hello everyone. My name is Leona Maspro and I am in my second semester as a senior coach. Um, today I'm actually very boring and I'm only drinking a cup of tea since I was too lazy to make anything. Um, yeah. <laughs> How cold is it in South Africa now? Because I see you're wearing a jacket. Mm -hmm. 35 outside here. How, how hot it is or cold it is in, in, in where you are? Um, yesterday we had snow, so it's quite you, you cold. At the moment. I think it's about five degrees. Uh, yes, now it's all melted though, but we had snow yesterday. Thank you. And what kind of tree are you drinking? Um, it's wild berry tea. I think it's made in China. <laughs> okay, all right. Very nice. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Who wants to go next? Very good. 
unmute your microphone and go, go ahead. Let's see who's going to have the golden fruit. So far, I think Leilani is probably winning because she has all those gems and um, um, star fruits. And uh, so let's see who's going to yeah. be. Who goes next? I've been wasting Go ahead. So we have here, what's your name? I'm trying to see. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm going to call names here because it seems like it's a little disorganized. Raise your hand if you want to go next. And I hope I will see all of you on the screen. Go on. Don't be shy. Next. And not a bad idea to mute your microphones if you're not talking, right? <laughs> Let me see if I can mute that guy. Um, and since everybody is so shy, maybe I should go next. All right. Um, all right, uh, I'll go next if you, nobody's raising hands. So um, I'm Bas Taras. I'm uh, a founder of the Sculpture Project, and uh, I usually take care primarily of the kind of the big online competition. So Leilani will be in charge of the academy track, so non-university student track. She's also in charge of the uh, of the uh, Sculpture Global Symposium. Uh, we used to bring students twice a year for a face-to-face -face meeting, but now the COVID-19 crisis uh, messed that up. So I'll show you how I make my food. So let's see if it's going to work. So I have here my, uh, you know, some fruits for the for the breakfast and my coffee maker. And I would just take my cup and uh, I would grind some coffee. Let's see if it works. So I would just grind some coffee. When it's done, I'll just temper it a little bit here like this so that it fits snugly inside there. Then I put it here, oops, and press the button. Oh, oh, just a second, I need to put the cup. All right, and press the button. And then in about a minute or two, I'll have a nice cup of espresso coffee. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes I add some milk to it and sometimes I don't. And sometimes I actually have Brazilian cheese bread for, you know, with coffee. So, but I guess today uh, I didn't warm it up, so it's in the freezer. So I'll just stick with coffee and that's it. And uh, almost done, yeah. And I got my cup of coffee, espresso, Italian, and I'm done with my breakfast. So I'll be drinking it as I'm talking to you guys. So who wants to go next? Boss, that is a very right. fancy coffee maker. Uh, yeah, I guess it costs, <laughs> costs more than my first car, but <laughs> it's worth Oh my it. God, very fancy coffee maker. Yeah, it's, you it's know, I, see Patri I see Patricia. Yep. from Moldova here and I, I saw Jaren from Malaysia a little bit ago and I see oh, Annette, Annette is, is, Annette right is here too so let's let's call on those people because I know they've got something to say well so, Annette raised her hand so why don't you uh, uh, unmute your microphone and go ahead Annette tell us where you are and what you're eating there uh hi guys my name is Annette I am from uh, Nairobi Kenya I like Lion, I'm huh? taking a cup of tea. I hope you can see it. What kind of tea do you have? It is a uh, Kenyan tea. We grow tea here and we enjoy it actually. We have a big farm of tea here. One of these fine days I'll take, I'll take you guys around. <laughs> yeah, so it's evening here. So we had our lunch a bit earlier and now I'm just having a cup of tea. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so who wants to go next? I see Anit raised his hand. Anit, where are you? Raise your hand again. So uh, the virtual hand. Do you want to go next? Uh, I see Mir Miranda. Miranda, go, why don't you go ahead? Miranda, Miranda. raise your hand for you, real. Hi, good morning. My name is Miranda. I'm from Mexico. And today I make tacos of cochinita bibiu. Is pork shredding into pieces, and then you add a special sauce, and this is the result. And I also have a. Uh, that a lemon on the side, or what? What was that? Fruit? Yeah, a lemon, and you put it over the tacos, and then you eat it. And I also have a cup of coffee with milk. Uh huh. Is that a telescope? What time, what time is it in Mexico, Miranda? Yeah. And it's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so okay, so are you eating that for breakfast? What? I didn't hear it. Is that breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. Oh, we eat tacos for breakfast. Is that normal? <laughs> yeah, very normal. Oh, okay. Cool. 
Uh, and I, the telescope, yes, that, that is a telescope. Yeah, that's like a big one. You can probably see Saturn rings in it, right? Yeah, <laughs> I love watching with my dad outside in the, in, the, in the park. I go and we saw the stars and stuff. Very good. So um, I see Anit and Tekla. So do you want me to, um, let's oh, see, let me, let me show Anit. Yeah, if you guys want to talk next, just raise your hand and you can literally raise your hand like this or you can uh, press that raise hand button somewhere there. I don't, I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to bring him on. I see. I oh, there once, she is. I think yeah, once they start is. talking, yeah, I just put it okay, on. Okay, there the you go, Annette. Go ahead. I'm Anit Kaur Thapo. I've just completed my 12th standard that schooling from India and I'm from India. Yeah. Uh, right now I'm waiting for my college entrances because COVID I have to wait a bit longer. So I've been preparing since ever and still the dates of the examinations are getting postponed again and again. That's it. Uh, mm -hmm. And also that I've been connected to X-Culture for like last two and a half years or so. Very nice. And it's been a wonderful experience. Thank you. That's it. So, so what kind of food do you have there? Did you bring anything to the picnic? Yeah, it's seven thirty in the evening, so I'm just having pasta right now. Can you show us? <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, all right. Oh yeah. Looks ah. nice. Actually, I think that that's the most complicated food so far. So, yeah, <laughs> very good. Yeah. So um, I also have uh, Tekla here. So let's see if we can find Hello. her. My name is Tekla. I'm from Georgia uh, country. Um, my, I guess I finished high school this year. So waiting for my high school transcripts and all that to send my finish my applications um, abroad. Uh, I would like to go to Lithuania first uh, university and I have this nectar in here. <laughs> uh, Tekla, we can't see your video. Seems like the video is not working. Yeah, can you show oh, it? Yeah, I see oh, it now. Well, I see it now. Oh, yeah, now we see you now. This so, is now our Georgian nectar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are in Georgia. And I I'm at Hachapuri, right? Georgian wine. So you have some really yeah. good Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's a bit late here. So I decided to go with the fruit, right. as you can see. But yeah, we have some amazing food here. Yeah, Georgian, Georgian cuisine may be the best in the world, or at least definitely in top 10. So that's- Oh, that's thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, who else do we have? Um, let's see, Bot, help me. I don't know well, how to- I see, yeah. see Divya, uh, Eunice. Um, I see also Malak is raising her hand. So maybe yeah. Malak, go ahead. I, I see the actual yeah. hand. Hi, I, my name is Malak and I'm from Egypt. Um, I'm currently in high school. I'm a senior this year. And um, I was, I'm really interested uh, in the uh, program I wanted to, um, to join since like forever. And we have Mahshi. This is an Egyptian cuisine. It's not Egyptian, so it's like an Arabic that, That's interesting. Can, can you show it closer? Yeah, this. <laughs> that's so, so what is it? How do you make it? What, what? Uh, it's basically rice uh, with sauce and other spices. Uh, put in some vegetables and stuff and I have with it chicken panne. It's basically chicken with which is like fried and stuff uh -huh. This way What time is it there? Uh, it's currently 420 24 What is that like late lunch? Yeah Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean I have training in like two hours and stuff. So nice. um, I'm really excited like. Very nice very good. Yeah. Well, um, we will be voting for the best food. I think I will be voting for Malak. I think that was the most complicated dish so far. <laughs> so we have Eunice is next. So uh, where are you, Eunice? If you start talking, I think you'll pop up. Yeah. Hi, um, my name is Eunice. I'm from Mexico too. 
I'm a rising senior in high school. I was really interested in this program science last year, but I didn't apply it because my English wasn't really good. For breakfast, um, I have a cheesecake, and at the side, Ooh. I have a Mexican candy that is called uh, Obleas. It has a wafer and, condens and burnt condensed milk. In Mexico, we call it cajeta. I made this on my own. Wow, actually, I wonder. So she's having cheesecake and a cookie for breakfast. You are my kind of girl. Yeah, I, I would I would like it with my coffee. <laughs> so can I have a piece? <laughs> I hope one day I can teach you how to make obleas. It's really easy, actually. That could be, no, mm, I'm eating. That could be an activity where somebody might want to yeah. teach us. Yeah, yeah something to do, do that. that would be fun. Like oh, I can teach you guys some stuff too, how to yeah, cook like some. Picnic and you give us the list of the ingredients to buy in advance so that when we come to the meeting, we actually have all the ingredients and we just cook it together. Oh, yeah. actually, totally boss, can you put can you put a question on um, on the webinar right now to see if anybody's interested who is on it now? Actually, yeah, so put it in the comments. So if you would like to come to one of those cook together sessions, maybe we can Ooh, do like, know, some sort of like a cookie or a cake or hachapuri or something together. Or Ukrainian borscht, why not? I can show you how to make that. Well, that it actually Ukrainian takes Ukrainian borscht? Oh, that does not sound appetizing, but I will come to the show just to see. What do you mean? It's like the best food ever. So it's like, like you know, like soup, but very healthy version. So. Uh, okay, I'll see it when I see it. Okay, so big We have a lot yeah. of people who are signing up, so maybe we can do that, so yeah. Oh, good, so big yeah. Uh -huh. So hi everyone, my name is Subhigya Baral and um, I come from a country um, that is tucked away and sits in the lap of mountains, that is Nepal. Nepal. So, actually, um, so actually we have the Mount Everest and um, it's actually the birthplace of Gautam Buddha, um, Buddhism, as you guys might know. And um, I'm 16 years old and um, also like due to the COVID-19 pandemic, my final board exams has been post like it has been cancelled. And I had been like preparing for that exam since so long, like since two years. And you know, at the end, when you find out that it's been canceled, you feel really bad. So um, actually now um, I'm actually a junior, a rising junior. I'm doing um, the British A-levels. Um, so the food that I've prepared for now is, it's, um, it's actually um, 8, 8 p.m. Um, at night here. So I've actually prepared this, um, this thing called momos. So how you prepare this is um, first you take the minced meat, minced meat, and then you put a lot of spices and a lot of masala. So it's basically dumplings. Um, in the Western world, it's known as dumplings. Dumplings, yeah. So you put some uh, minced meat and you wrap it with some flour, and then you actually steam it. So you steam it for like 15 minutes and it's ready. And it's actually the staple food of Nepal. Ah, and with, cool. and with that and 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 with this, we dip it with some um, what do you say pickle we have this really tangy and really spicy pickle to go with it and with this i have actually um made some buttermilk so since this is full of spices and you know it's gonna like be a little bit harsh on your tummy so to wash down all that spices um we generally drink it with buttermilk so that it's chilled and you know it makes it easier for the spicy thing to be digested and um, I actually came to know about agriculture since um, two years. But since I was just 14 years old back then, um, I couldn't participate. And also I had actually seen um, Dr. Bass um, TED talk. And after that, and um, I re I, you know, I was really inspired to join this. And like, I was waiting to join this in so long. So like, I'm really excited as you can tell, because um, I have finally got the opportunity to be a part of a global pra uh, platform. So thank you so much. Thank you. So how high in the mountains is your house? What's the altitude? So I actually live in Kathmandu Valley, which is uh -huh. um, surrounded by um, hills. So actually, um, from my rooftop, you could actually see, um, you know, the whole mountain range. So that's really um, amazing. Yeah. Th wow. That's where we should do one of the sculpture symposia in Nepal. <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah. Nice. yeah, you guys should definitely that. do that. We have so many things. 
like you know we have um in kathmandu valley which is the um you know the capital city of nepal we have actually eight unesco um heritage sites in just a small place and also kathmandu city you know like the place where i live is actually known as um the city of temples we have more than i think 10000 temples in a city oh my god that's amazing i want to go so there. yeah yeah that's actually something that we've been talking about dr taras and i that we would um create a uh, an independent academy experience for you guys so that's something that we're working on in the future in the same way that we run um global ex culture for the university students we would like to create an independent experience for you guys we've already spoken with um two institutions here in florida florida international university is talking to us and uh, we have a friend at washington uh, you know university of district columbia who's also mm -hmm. uh entertaining the idea of maybe selecting the top 20% of academies graduates and creating an abroad experience yeah. but we're going to do the same thing that we do with global at the universities right where we travel all over the world we're going to probably try to do the same thing with academy and i'm the one that develops that so if you guys have any ideas it would have to be institutional based but uh, you know academic but that would be an interesting um i think journey for you guys to travel all over the world and get that you know first hand experience of what it's like to be in kathmandu for example yeah that would yeah you guys should like definitely do that yeah so and, can just, yeah. but can i just jump back a little bit if you are interested in hosting a what did you call it vas a cooking show or a cooking class yeah. yeah if you could put it in the chat and then message it to either me or dr taras that you would like to host it so that or rafael by the way or leo any of us right so that we can start to coordinate and schedule these events and activities while you guys are are getting ready to start your semester yeah, okay nice yeah okay so and, yara um, and also um and yeah and also my deepest like heartfelt gratitude for <laughs> all of you for creating such a wonderful platform where um us from different like um where we can meet people from all over the world and you know get to know each other and you know really understand the basics and you know learn how to do the international business and also like since we are young minds and also like you know develop our passion for entrepreneurship and international business and actually um help us you know hone our skills and you know um like be uh, like the important thing when you become big time ceos and presidents of countries and i don't know the secretaries of the united nations don't forget about us <laughs> yes sure because our goal is to really uh, dr taras and i have a common goal and that is to make the world a wonderful place for all of you and all of our children to grow up in that's really the ultimate goal i mean unless we you know if we didn't have bills and anything like that we wouldn't have to work and we just do this yeah. but like i said you know this is really for me it's my pleasure to be a part of this organization so dr taras thank you yeah thank so you I see and yeah and actually um you know we all are in this together so thank you so much from all of us for creating such a wonderful platform where we can you know share ideas and you know we are um in like in this shared common goal together so thank you very much yeah thank you guys so let's yara? get more food who who goes next yara where are you yara talk yara Yara and I see also Elvin is raising oh Yara is right here in the hoodie. Hello. <laughs> yeah, hi. Uh so I'm Yara Bar. I'm from Saudi Arabia okay. and I'm going to be a senior next year. And uh it's 5 p.m. over here, so it's not really breakfast for me, but I have some fruits. I've got some mangoes and uh a banana. Show us, show us what you are saying and okay. I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. But I did eat the banana though. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you have a mango there and banana, okay. Yeah. Uh and yeah, so I guess that's me. Are are you a Marvel fan or it's just a hoodie? Uh, no, it's it's just a hoodie. Okay. Like I would watch Marvel, it's not that I'm not a fan, but I'm not a fanatic and I'm not obsessed okay. with it. No. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Right? Everybody is so healthy. Everybody is eating fruit and some, you know. So let's see. Anyone has any junk food like like something that is like really good? <laughs> I have. 
Why don't, why don't you show us what you have there? So do we have some real food? Real food? <laughs> <laughs> so I have here pizza. Okay. Can I also got pizza. And sandwich and some uh, fruit. Uh, so Mohammed has... or who, who's talking here? I'm trying to see. It's no, Mohammed. Plum. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. All right. We don't see and, his video. Uh, I, would like, I would like to introduce myself. <laughs> so I'm 17 years old and I live in Azerbaijan in its captain Baku. Uh, I finished the high school and uh, this year I'm going to enter university. I would like to study molecular and genetics here maybe um in usa or uh in canada i don't know mm -hmm. yeah, very nice. so today i'm not eating something truly uh and so and i'm having uh peach juice here mm -hmm. so yeah good choice of countries for study i did my education in the us and canada so uh good locations uh yeah there are lots of opportunities for uh especially for molecular biology and genetics that's true if that's you want professional in this um i think it's a great chance to stay yeah that's very a very, very but, um, but because, uh, because of the current numbers, i haven't still uh, this final exams and that's mm -hmm. we're waiting for them maybe the, um, I would have an opportunity to go there and to, st uh, to study countries. Yeah. So for those of you guys who are experiencing the COVID summer, right, where everything is getting delayed and um, yeah. you know, your plans are getting put in kind of um, the back burner, back burner meaning like it's being held up. I want you to really, there's nothing you can do about it, right? But I want you to really embrace the experience because it's not just you, Muhammad, or it's not just you, the other student that just came before you who are being delayed with exams and things like that. It's really the whole world. But I want you to pause for a minute and really think about this as an opportunity to make, so, so the, the world is making a correction, businesses are making a correction, industries are making a correction. So it's really a great opportunity for you, yourself, to, to clean up a little bit and say, okay, what are some of the things that I could be uh, doing right now to take up this space? Because, you know, there are things that you always put in the back burner to study for exams, for example. So Mohammed and all of you other students really embrace the time, really look at the opportunity as um, a gift to make some corrections in your life, okay? And not necessarily a struggle. Okay, because this is a gift. Yeah. I want you to think about this as a gift. What can you do with this precious time? And it's fleeting. It is really fleeting. Okay, so we have, um, I see Zainab. Yeah, and I see Zainab is actually eating, so I want to see what she's eating there. So. <laughs> Go ahead, Zainab. Hi. Yeah, so what do you have there? Hi. Zainab, Hello. yes, we can hear you, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, my uh, my name is Zainab. I come from Kuwait, and I'm eating popcorn with a cup of tea. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> just you're American. <laughs> yeah, it's five p.m. in Kuwait. What do you have your popcorn with? Is it with uh, like salty or sweet or caramel? It's uh, lightly sea salted. Aha, uh -huh, sea salted. Mm. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, I come from Kuwait. I want to become an aerospace engineer when I grow up. Mm. Uh, the reason why I joined this uh, this uh, course is because uh, I see a lot of people in the, the coding industry, the programming industry, creating software and not getting credit enough because they don't have a side of business. So I want to teach myself a bit the business side of uh, of the of technology and uh, and how how to communicate with the world and how to. Uh, show my software to the world. So I think this course is a great opportunity for me. Excellent. Well, Excellent. I remember that there was this one guy from South Africa who studied a little in Canada, a little in the United States, and he was a businessman, but now he's sending all those rockets into space. So one just yeah. came back with two men. What, what's his name? Anyone remembers? Elon Musk? <laughs> of course, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, just, he, just sent a, he just sent a rocket That's to space. Big. 
yeah, it <laughs> came back. Like so yeah, what I'm trying to say here is that yes, you can be a businessman and a rocket man at the same time. Jeff Bezos, the same thing. So he's also going to yes. And then yeah. the guy, the Virgin Galactic, yeah. um, uh, uh, Bronson, uh, Richard Bronson. So we have now a lot of businessmen that are going into space. So yeah. Yeah. All right. So I see Prince has his hand up. So Prince, you wanna. You want to unmute yourself, and then we're going to go with Aditya. So Aditya afterward, after Prince. Prince? I, don't, I don't see Prince where he is. I, I see him. Um, I think he's got a technology connection. Okay, so Aditya, are you here? Aditya G. Yeah, I see. Yes, yes. Karim was Hello? raising his hand. Yes, name. okay. Oh, there you are. Aditya Grover. Hi. I, it's a uh, first of all thank you to give us a platform and I'm very fortunate to join X culture and, and I'm having a light snack which is uh, here in India it's called alu bujia actually <laughs> it's made up of potatoes fried potatoes actually and we put spices in it so it's quite tasty and uh, it's a good evening snack so it's like potato chips potato chips <laughs> no no it's not potato chips let me show you it's so, like can you see this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it, it looks uh, like nachos or something. Oh, oh no, like no, no. Mashed potatoes. Like, mashed potatoes and then like it's dry, fried. Fried spaghetti type of deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm already involved in some forex and investing acti activities. I'm actually in second year in the bachelor's in business activities and through uh, entrepreneurship in Amity University, Noida. And I'm already in some investment activity so i thought x culture would be good to join some more businesses and active cultures and what what city are you in in india what uh, city? pardon what is the city what's the name of the town where you are in india uh i'm from uttarakhand uttarakhand is a state and i'm living in Khatima actually it's Got like it. a hilly area Got it. okay okay very nice thank you aditya Okay, so Natalia, you're next. Where are you, Natalia? Hey, I'm Natalia. I'm from Romania. I'm 17 years old. And uh, somebody said everybody has uh, like healthy food. Well, I have melted ice cream. Ah, <laughs> and homemade donuts. Well, good. <laughs> Far from healthy. Um, I'm really excited to uh, be a part of this project. I think it would be a really nice opportunity to meet different people from different cultures and uh, i can't wait to, for this to start very nice excellent excellent ania where are you ania ania you can mute yourself and start talking also do we have anyone from the united states or from ukraine or canada i'm just curious mm -hmm. like anyone i'm from the united states i am from ukraine Ah. So Christian started talking. Christian, do you want to go next? I'm just curious yeah, if we have any. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, where are you located? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Christian. Yeah. Christian, what? I'm from I'm from Chicago, Illinois, but uh -huh. currently I'm in Aurora. Uh huh. So, what do you have for lunch or breakfast? I guess. I have jerk tacos and jerk fries. Can you show us? It, um. It was kind of falling apart. Oh my god! <laughs> it's sort of like this, yeah, okay. and it's encoded in jerk sauce and everything. Okay. Yeah. Christian, are you having leftovers from your auntie or mama's cooking? Yes, I am. Oh my god, that is the best breakfast. Yeah. Yes, I am. Stop being so mean and showing us that. <laughs> Like when you, so I'm assuming that you're from the, her, your, your heritage is from the Caribbean? Uh, no. Um, no, no, um, more, more like African, but. What, who made you, who made you jerk chicken? Oh, my mother. It, it, so jerk chicken, for those of you guys who are all over the world, right? It's, um, it's a Caribbean dish that's very, very popular in South Florida. And it's like, if you have homemade jerk chicken, it's probably like one of the best. You can't buy it at a gross, uh, at a restaurant. Well, evidently it's also popular in Chicago, so not only in Florida. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's um, what I love about the United States. It's so multicultural, so mixed up that you can get any food anywhere. You can go to the smallest town in Nebraska and get some Chinese food, for example. So why not? So, so Layla, are you here, Layla? Nice to meet you, Christian. Layla? Yes, I am. Hi. So what does Hi. Layla have? Uh, my name is Layla. I'm 16 and I'm from Azerbaijan. Uh, and it's 6 p.m. here, so I'm having some melted ice cream, just like Natalia, and some biscuits. <laughs> All right. So very nice. Is that interesting? Natalia is where? Natalia, you're in Romania? Azerbaijan. Yeah. Oh, Natalia, yeah. yeah I'm from Romania Azerbaijan. is in, in Azerbaijan, and they're both eating ice cream at the same time. Well, it's only yeah, the most popular that is really cool. <laughs> really cool. Valeria, donde esta? Valeria Torres. Hi. Okay, hi, my name is Valeria Torres. <clears throat> so, Valeria. Hi. Yes. My name is Valeria Torres. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Ica, Peru. Um, okay, so now I'm having breakfast Where and I have uh, oats. What, 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 Sorry, what? what? Where are you? Ica, Peru. Ah, yeah. Peru, Peru. Okay, very nice. Okay. Yeah. So uh, right now it's nine in the morning, and so I'm having breakfast. This is why I usually have it's oats with milk, and um, yeah, that's it. Ah, very good. Very good. So Peru is the land. Uh, did it? No. What is that? How far are you from Lima? Five hours from Lima. Okay, so Machu Picchu is about what six, seven hours from you, then, right? Mm, no, about. Uh, 20, 20 hours, something like that. Oh, wow. Peru is a strange country. Peru is, it's not big, but it's extremely long. So, I mean, like you can cross it west to east like in half an hour, but south to north, it would be probably like 24 hour driving, right? Yes. Yeah. Ah, very interesting. That's also like we're talking about Kathmandu. Going to, uh, to Machu Picchu is also a dream come true for a lot of people. Have you been there, Valeria? Yes, I've been there. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to explore that idea, I think. So Valeria, how far south are you? Like your city? Um I'm in the south, like I'm I'm like near Chile. Well not that um near but it's like it's Ica is down Lima, like okay, five okay. hours. Like Five hours. Peru, I mean, some parts of Peru now probably have pretty warm weather, but if you go all the way south, I guess it will be really cold now, right? Yeah, it's cold now. Yeah. We are in winter. Winter, yeah. 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 So for, for those of you guys, um, this is probably common knowledge to a lot of you guys, but for some of us, the uh, seasons actually invert, right? So yeah. If you're, the further away you are from the equator, the different the seasons are in the south. So for example, if it's summer in North, um, the United States and in North America, it will be winter in South America and vice versa. So Can you that's imagine very, when we started Exculture, uh, I habitually called the seasons, I was saying like summer 2020 or winter 20, you know, 18. And then yeah. I realized, wait a second, we have a lot of kids from, you know, from, from Australia, from New Zealand, from South right, America. Right. Yeah, that doesn't work. So that's yeah. why now you will be in the 2022 season. So it's not yeah. 2024, but 2022, because we have actually a good third of all of the participants are actually from the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. So, and that's actually something that we'll have to take into consideration. We were talking about this with Dr. Karaz that we would have to create maybe two opportunities for excursions or travel because most people travel in the summertime, but summertime is two different times of the year for many countries. Yeah. So that's something else that we're also talking well, about. Also, Australia you know too. Probably about a third of all exculture participants uh, live along the equator. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like when you look at Colombia, you know, countries like that. So all the way Africa to Asia. And they don't even have that concept of summer and winter. Well, where you are, Leilani, I mean, for you, it's always summer, right? South summer West. all the time in Florida. It's, yeah. it's, it's hot, and then it's hotter. Yeah. So <laughs> in August, it's hottest. <laughs> yeah, I remember teaching some classes in Colombia, in Medellin, 
and you literally can have one tree that has some fruits that are still green, some fruits that are ripe, like one tree will be multiple seasons at the same time. So not mm -hmm. only the country. So I guess, you know. Very confused. Well, okay, so we have... You know, uh, can we have somebody from Ukraine? Uh, Vlad Ivanov, that sounds Ukrainian. Go ahead, please. Slava Ukraini. I don't know, Slava. Okay, I am Margo. Oh, okay. You can yeah. go next. Let, let's, let's do Vlad and then Margarita. Okay. Oh, so I'm from Ukraine and actually I'm from Rimne. And uh, today... Oh, wait a second. Did, did, you say Rimne? did you say Rimne? Yeah. That's where I'm from. What, what street do you live in? So where do you live in the city? What, what street do you live in? Or on? Sorry? What's the name of the street? Like what part of the city do you live in? Oh, actually I live... Uh, after the zoo, it's... Ah, so all the way, like, um, what is it? Um, well, I understand. I lived by uh, Radio Zavod. So that's like a five minute drive from where you are, maybe 10 minute drive. So, yeah. Very cool. You guys might know the same people. Very possibly. Yeah, well, I left Germany, like, I don't know, quarter like, century ago. So, so, yeah. uh, you were saying about Borscht and I uh, look to my uh, fridge and I uh, see the right. So, so what do you have there for food now? I have pasta. Ah, pasta. <laughs> yeah, pasta with uh, vegetables and meat. Very nice. That looks more, more yeah, Italian than Ukrainian, but it's a good choice. Margarita, are you also from Ukraine? Yeah, yeah, I'm from yeah. Ukraine. What's I you? live in Kiev. Uh -huh. yeah. And yeah, um, I have uh, some tea here and some cookies that I've already ate. So, um, yeah, I'm 16 um, and I'm going to apply uh, to the U.S. universities uh, this fall. So, in um, international business major. Oh, oh, very good. So yeah, you will of the be part of our family. family. <laughs> yeah. You will yeah, and so be with us. One okay, thing, I'm Elani sorry. and Margarita and everybody else, one thing that comes up all the time lately is um, students are asking for advice with applying to uh, universities in general, but in the United States and Canada in particular. And we are thinking about maybe launching a whole separate program where our professors maybe will sort of guide or tutor you on how to um, apply, you know, how to maximize your chances of being accepted, getting yeah. a stipend. Yeah, and that's a great not, idea. Yeah, yeah, we're still not sure how to set it up. Will it be some sort of like one-on-one -on -one mentoring or will it be some sort of like a group thing? But we thought maybe, like for example, you're 16 now, so you have about one extra year before you will be applying, right? And uh, so yeah. So, we so thought, uh, I will be applying this fall, so oh, this I will fall. be taking a yeah, You don't have that much time left, so yeah. But we thought maybe we will have some sort of like a schedule where the program starts, let's say, for example, now for the applications next year, and then we work with the students, you know, like have, I don't know, weekly meetings where we, you know, tell you, okay, like this week you need to look at the universities and try to decide which one you want to go to. And then next week, uh, you know, once you decide on the university, maybe look at the pages of the faculty members there, professors, see if there are any that interest you. And then maybe next week we will be working on the application uh, forms. And then maybe next week we will be working on the, I don't know, essay or whatever. Uh, you know, yeah, maybe. that's a great idea. Yeah, how to make your application strong. Yeah, yeah. Challenge, recommendations. Yeah, the only challenge is, as I said, we have so many students. We probably want to do it some sort of like a group-based because if we wanted to go one-on-one, -on -one, we do have over 100 professors in the program every semester, but we have thousands of students, so we'll have to think about the best way to do it. So, but maybe. Um, I actually have a question. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, so um, it's about the US application process. So, like, I'm also looking to apply to US universities for either aerospace engineering or a dual degree program in, um, you know, um, entrepreneurship or engineering. So, actually, I'm in my junior year and I'm just 16 years old. So when do you think is the right time for me to give the SAT exam? Because I haven't actually started preparing for it. Now? Well, <laughs> now? Well, yeah. no, like, no. October, I mean, next year, I maybe, think. yeah. Like, when do you think I should start preparing for it? Or maybe give exams? Right now. Maybe? Yeah, right like, now. Uh, and probably <laughs> yesterday, if you want to apply for the next year. 
Uh, but again, this is a good question, and that's one that probably will require much more time than just a quick answer. So I'm thinking maybe we should organize a series of these, you know, webinars on SAT, on application and letters, and recommendation letters, on choosing the right university, applying for scholarships, those kinds yeah. of things. Uh, yeah, we'll yeah. push that out on a different time. Yeah. Yeah, that's an amazing I, idea. The thing is, we only have about 10 minutes left, and I want to get to Jomana and Louise Vanderhost. And uh, I think we have uh, Dana and Anya still wanting to talk. So, Jamana, are you here? Yes. Okay. So, uh, hold on a second, Jamana. What I want to do is, because Dr. Tara and all of the coaches have to go to another meeting in about nine minutes, I will stay on to finish this meeting. But I just want to let you know that... Um, we can have we we will have a whole separate conversation about that and uh you know as you know we're university professors and that is something that we can build into this program so not to worry you'll have lots of help so you will have you know margarita all we will have lots of help that's a part of what we do as an ex-culture family but right now i'd like to go back into the um to the picnic that we're having, and then we'll schedule another session talking about college entrance. Is that good? Probably sure, yeah. If it's not something you can cover in one. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, okay. so Jamana? Yes. So, hello, my name is Jamana. Uh, you can call me Drew. i um, 13. I, I'm from Egypt, but I live in Saudi Arabia. For the picnic today, I did actually Something in Egypt is very known. It's called sambusa. Yeah. Um, Can you some show it some more? I want to see the food. Hello. Don't even know. Damana, can you show it to us again? Yes, of course. It's here. It's sambusa rolls. Oh, nice. What is it made with? What's inside there? Inside this, we uh, we can put like um, any meat or cheese or chicken, anything like what you like. It's from here. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And I have here um, some fruits and dates because uh, in Saudi Arabia, dates are very known and common here because we have, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice and sweet. I like dates too. Um, okay, so Louise, where are you Louise? Hi, oh. I'm here. Okay, there you are. So I have some cheese here and some bitter butter because I'm from the Netherlands. And that's ah, awesome. very good. Nice. Danke wel. Where are you from in the Netherlands? W what city? Alkmaar. It's not too far from Amsterdam. Uh -huh. Ah, very good. Mm -hmm. I'm always in Rotterdam. Yeah. 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 So I, I teach sometimes at the Rotterdam Business School, Hoge yeah. School. My, yeah. my favorite place there is uh, Groningen. So that's a very nice place. My favorite place in, um, in the Netherlands is Delft. Yeah, Delft. yeah, it's very beautiful there. Yeah. And I like to, there's a little, there's a little bed and breakfast um, in one of the squares where Vermeer used to live, his family used to live. And I like to stay in one of those very secluded little rooms. This building is about to collapse, but it's just such a quaint little hotel. <laughs> okay. Well, Nazreen, where are you? Nazreen? Hi, I'm from here. I'm here. Go ahead, Nazreen. Okay. Nazreen. Hi. So, hi, my name is Nazreen. I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Azerbaijan. Um, I graduated from high school this year, and I was going to go study in University of South Florida. But then because of this pandemic, I just visa is canceled and everything canceled and I'm here. Probably I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a gap here or just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, so and, you already got accepted, right? Yeah, I got accepted. Aren't they going to teach online this semester? I mean, I mean, can't you just start online? Yeah, they offered me to start online, but I rejected it because I don't think online education is the same as in-person education. Well, you know, if you start online so that you can just get your credit hours for the first semester or whenever this whole thing will be over right. and then just continue this way, you don't need to lose your time, right? Right. So, yeah. And, and, yeah. And Nazreen, you'll probably um, have a better chance getting your um, F1 visa back if you start online because all the universities in South Florida, I actually come from the area where South Florida is. 
So Tampa has one of the highest rate of COVID right now. So the entire state of Florida is not offering classes on ground. So Nazreen, if you start online, you are almost guaranteed to be invited to have that F1 visa application. And when the country opens back up, you'll come, you, you'll get in. And USF is a very nice university. Fair are enough. you studying medicine? No, um, computer science. Yeah. Computer science, yeah. Still, now, it's a you, very nice university. Did you get a scholarship, a stipend? or? Yeah, not? I got presidential, presidential scholarship from there. So if you decided to do it online, would the scholarship apply as well, or you would need to pay for the classes? How does it work there? I, I didn't get it. What do you mean? What I mean is that if you decided to take classes online right now, so would your scholarship still cover the cost? or? Yeah, would yeah, it would cover. But like, also, I had some other thoughts that I'll... I would like to um, apply to University of Miami, which is like better for me. I would like to go there like more. So maybe I thought if I take a gap year and then I apply next year again, and I can get in the University of Miami because that's my dream college. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can help you with that. Artists I actually do. live down the street from there, but we, we just can hired a professor from University of Miami. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you I, so I much. actually become a professor at the University of Miami. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so Ania, where are you? I'm Ania. I'm Go ahead, 14. Ania. I'm 14. I'm from the Philippines. It's currently 11 p.m. <laughs> I don't really have anything to eat. I'm also part of the coaching program. Yeah. Um, okay. so I'm a student and a coach. This is my second time as a student second or third yeah I Ania, know. are you going to be one of our coaches yes i have okay. the after this okay so uh rafael wherever you are rafael i need you to reach out to Ania and start to include her on our um weekly meeting so that we can onboard her pretty quickly Ania, i'm from the philippines really yes i grew I'm up very Filipino. So i was born in uh, malabon uh, outside of Manila, and uh, I was, I also lived in Baguio when I was a little girl, but I immigrated there. when I was there. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the NCR region, and I'm, it's, I'm currently doing my school year already. Yeah. Very and it's good. online. It's very stressful. <laughs> I know. Everybody's online, you guys. It's not just you, okay? Everybody's actually, online. Actually, my school year was supposed to start in June. The Philippines school year is different. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Taraz, did have another student join us? Yeah, my, my research assistant is here. You want to say hi? What an adorable yeah. doggy. Yeah, so. All right, okay. we probably have time for one or two more because the coaches start at 11 and um, we cannot have two webinars at the same time. So we'll need to end. Right. Part. Oh, okay, okay. So, Sarifa? Um, yes, I am Zarifa. I am from Azerbaijan. Today I will show you uh, an Azerbaijan traditional food. Uh, it's actually famous in Caucasus region and also in Jewish uh, cuisine. Uh, it is good top. Uh, it, uh, we made it like from beef. Uh, you can see it here. It is sumak, upper the good top, and inside it we, we put uh, beef. Uh, and we made it from like uh, top. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we make it in traditional Azerbaijan cuisine in tandoor, uh, but in homemade version, we made it in pan, uh, and we eat it with um, uh, gatuk, which is Caucasian like milk. Uh, uh, it is special, like it's it's like milk, but it's gatuk, and we eat it with uh, good job. And also we drink it with iron, which is also famous in our cuisine. Uh, it's also made from gatik, like it's like yogurt with water and uh, how to salt. And um, actually it's uh, like delicious. You can try it. In wow. Now, Leilani, I think we found our host for that, you know, cooking show that we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> like that was the best. No, again. Everybody needs to put their name in, in the chat. I think we're gonna be able to capture the, in the chat, um, your name if you'd like to host a cooking show for us, okay? We're gonna take one more because we have to go to the next meeting. So, I, and I'm sorry that we didn't get to everybody today. 
We're gonna have another one of these sessions, probably one more time before the start. So, and, and maybe in two weeks time, right? Uh, no, I, th I think actually in two weeks time is the welcome event. Leilani, I see we have Karim and Kathy up, both so raised hands. Let's give them each 30 seconds. Okay, and actually, I, let me go with Dana because she's actually in queue with her hand up, and then okay. we'll go with uh, Dana, so Kathy, and Karim, seconds, then, but, but 30 seconds because we really need to end any second now. Dana? Hi, everyone. My name is Dana, and I'm from Jamaica. So I already had my breakfast earlier today, um, but what I brought with me today is a Jamaican fruit. I don't know if you can see it, it's yeah. called Aki. This is actually our nat um, national fruit, and it's a part of our national dish, ackee and saltfish. It's um, not an average fruit where you can take off a tree like an apple. It's one of the few countries in the world where you can actually get this, um, and it's legal. But um, it's really delicious, and who knows, maybe I'll be a part of the cooking show. <laughs> Cooking show, yay! Yeah. Cooking show. Who's the next person? Karim next? and uh, Kathy. Karim, go ahead, please. Hello, I'm from Belize, which is in the Caribbean, also. Um, X culture is a huge part for me because in the Caribbean, it's mostly agriculture and tourism, and I would like to improve business sector myself here in Belize and also in the Caribbean. Very nice, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I hope we can help, yes. That's a very yeah, my pleasure. Call. I was actually uh, a consultant for the World Bank in Belize in a, in a little fishing village, but another conversation. Who's our last one? Who was that third one that you called out, Kathy was there as well. Kathy, where are you, Kathy? Uh, hi, I am from Mexico City. Uh, and I would love to study international businesses because I love like, the international stuff in general. Um, I love, like, excuse me? What are you having there for breakfast? What's your food? Uh, I got some tomato and cucumber. Very healthy choice. So healthy. Yes. <laughs> uh, I am like in cetogenic diet. So um, I am eating this. Okay. Very and nice. also I love like all the international things and also i love like languages i am polyglot how many do you speak? Uh, excuse me how many languages do you speak i speak spanish english french i'm learning korean asl and italian very, very nice. impressive well we, we really need to stop people. sebastian can you tell us where you are sebastian rumpel sounds very german uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, I actually come from Poland, but I'm half German, so your your uh -huh, your, right. uh, your, uh, your implication was kind of correct. Uh, I come from Poland, from the very south of it, from uh, Raciborz. Raciborz, okay. I uh, well am also interested in international politics, in psychology and philosophy, and I am also a polyglot. I can speak uh, English, Polish, Russian, and German, and I am currently learning Korean. Impressive. <laughs> That's like... So, I, I have to stop you because I'm getting, get a I'm getting a message. But let me just say one more thing. Um, for those of you guys who are super excited about Academy this year, um, we have so many wonderful things planned for you. We are still open for registration. If you know of people who would grow from this experience, please invite them to apply. Let them know that the application uh, period stops August 15th. We might have a few days um, to take on more people, especially if they're recommended by you. But please invite as many people as you know who would grow from this experience to apply to Academy because we really would like to have a very robust experience. And Dr. Lindbergh, Professor Lindbergh is having a conniption saying get off the webinar now because we yeah. have to start the coaching uh, meeting. So peace and love to everybody all over the world. I'm well, so looking did. forward to seeing you guys. Yeah. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Bye.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.